Hello YouTube. Uh, in this section I'm going to uh, talk about how to set up the excitation for the problem that we have and continue on uh, the modeling for uh, making, ready, making it ready for the simulation. Um, one thing we want to do is we want to uh, have some terminals uh, to excite the coils that we have here. Um, so to do that, as you remember from the previous sections, we just deleted all the eight um, coils of the poles and uh, now we are going to set up one and then copy paste uh, around this object so make it faster and easier so select the coil A and then go to the model and then surface and then section and then section and we want to have a section that is um, uh, basically uh, parallel with the X, Y a plane. So I'm selecting the XY plane and then I press OK for that. So now I have two objects of this um, <coughs> coil A selected. I'm going to go and um, select the section 1 and uh, first of all um, I'm going to change it to terminal um, underline A1 And, um, and then I um, probably want to make the color um, some, some color that I want um, whatever color you like uh, you can go with like green or red or whatever you want so I'm going to go with the green so make it more distinguishable and then I press OK so now I have these two terminals in the middle of that um, coil and uh, because it's two sections, uh, I don't like it like that. So I want to make it to be one cross section. So as I've done it before a lot of time, uh, what, it, what, what the one thing that you do is you basically click on the click on the terminal A, under line A1, and then you go to the uh, modular boolean, and you say I want to separate the bodies, and then it will have the the first one and the one that is got separated. So I'm going to delete that because uh, I don't need it. So I will go with this terminal on the A1. And now I can go and uh, select and um, right click on that. And I, I can assign a current. And I want to make sure that the current that I'm assigning is considering this uh, coil as an stranded coil. As I said again, it's basically canceling the eddy current effect and uh, it will consider it one turn. So if you have more turn as in a stranded coil, you have to times to in order to find, for example, the inductance equivalent inductance of that coil, you have to times whatever value for the inductance you have to n square. N would be the number of turns that your inductance might have. So let's put a, a big number for the current here that basically can rotate the motor. Um, 3,750. Uh, is one of the values that you can use here and you can uh, leave the name for that as a current one okay so um, there is nothing else that you want to change and honestly the direction here uh, if you don't whatever direction you choose here uh, it's fine because we are going to copy paste and the direction will be all the same so now that I have these uh, selected uh, I will go and uh, make sure that I can <coughs> duplicate all these terminals and coils at the same time. So to do that, first of all, make sure that when you go to Tools and then you go to the Options uh, and then under the Maxwell to the Options make sure that <coughs> in the General Option uh, tab uh, the duplicate boundaries mesh operation with the geometry is already checked. So this is the this is the part that you want to make sure that it's checked. So when you have that checked, when you copy and paste any geometry, you are actually duplicating uh, the uh, boundaries and the excitations and the mesh at the same time. So let's copy. But so let's say make sure that this one is checked. So now we can uh, duplicate that. So what you want to do is you want to select the terminal A1 and hold and press P 
press and hold the control key and select the, con uh, the coil A underline 1 at the same time and then you want to go to edit or you can actually use the duplicate here uh, sorry there we go duplicate along the line um, there is one duplicate uh, around the axis which is more useful at this time because we you can see if we can duplicate it around the z-axis we can uh, we can actually put everything on this on the right part so we use the uh, duplicate around the z-axis and um, over here we want to make sure that the axis is z and um, the angle is 45 degrees so each 45 degree we have one coil that is going to be there and the, the number of the total number would be eight of them so you can see that when I'm uh, increasing the number, it actually shows a very nice preview of what I would get at the end of the day. So um, I wouldn't change anything else, and I just press OK on that. And uh, if everything is fine, um, we should be able to... Uh, I'm going to press OK on that, since it's fine. Uh, if everything is fine, I should have um, a lot of excitation here call it 1 to current 8 it's all excitations at the same side and now I can just change the names and go ahead with the uh, rest of the simulations so uh, let me quickly change the name put the names like uh, coil A underline 1, coil B underline 1, C underline 1, D underline 1 and then A underline 2 which is uh, in front of the A underline 1 if you can see here and then a on b underline 2 c underline 2 and d underline 2 so these are the one that are in front of each other is going to be um, basically uh, the same uh, letter so uh, to do that you just double click on that and change the name so let's say the first one is going to be b underline 1 the second one is going to be underline 2 sorry the second one is going to be C underline 1 so C underline underline 1 the third one is going to be D underline 1 And after that, we would have A underline 2, which as you can see, A underline 1 is here, and A underline 2 is going to be right in front of it. And then we have B underline 2. And then we have C underline 2. And then finally we would have D underline 2. Okay. Now uh, that we have all the names ready, uh, we might need to change the terminals at the same time uh, to uh, appropriate names uh, we have uh, terminal uh, A1 we're going to have it to um, A11 is going to be so uh, just make sure that uh, we are putting the right names together so this is B1 so A11 is going to be terminal B1 uh, A12 is going to be C1 and A underline 13 is going to be D1 
and then we have V2. Just to make sure this is D1, if I click on D1, I'm gonna have the same thing. Um, now, um, if you like, you can actually change, group them, and change them uh, in the properties. You can actually change the color to something that you like. Um, let's say reddish, and uh, so you have this reddish color for this fellow here, and for C you have probably yellowish color. Yes, and so we have this yellowish color for that, and for B we have green. Oops, we have green color. So here we can give it like a kind of a nice green color. And for A, whatever color we have, we can be happy for that. So, now after creating the terminals and excitations, now it's time for the boundary. For the boundary where we want to ask the simulator to, ca to basically calculate in this environment or in, in, within the boundary, um, we, we want to have our own uh, shape of the boundary. So we go into the, mod to, to the draw and we select the uh, rectangular polygon and uh, sorry regular polygon and when we select that we give uh, the value for x and y zero uh, so that would be the base of the y and the zero x and y and the z we will give it minus 100 millimeter and when we press enter for the dx we put the value of 150 millimeters for the dy we put the value of zero and for the dz we put the value of 200 now when you press OK, it asks you that what is the number of segments for this polygon. We go with the 12. So after that, we will create our own uh, polygon. Now for the name of that, you can actually change the name of that and uh, call it, for example, the region um, or basically the area that we are going to um, run the simulation in. Uh, the materials here is vacuum. Uh, which is not a bad material for um, <coughs> simulations. If you want to change it to air, you can do that as well. Um, and make sure that the, the, the way that you are displaying, uh, you can either put it on very uh, high uh, value for the transparency, uh, so you can see the inside, or you can say, you know what, I just want to see that as a uh, wave uh, wireframe. In that case, if the the polygons and the faces of that region is not going to bother you looking inside into your model that you design. So I'm going to go with the display as a waveform and as soon as I click outside you can see that it's almost like a ghost. You cannot see this region anymore. Okay. One other thing that you can do if you don't like to uh, click the region by accident or let's say I'm going to click here you can see sometimes it might like just click the, the region uh, one thing you can do is you can also click on the eye and um, go here and uh, find the region that we just created and make sure that it's not visible so when you do that it's not selectable and it's not visible so it's not it's not bothering you but it is there uh, at the time uh, so now uh, let's uh, create our analysis uh, to do that you just need to right click on the setup that we have and or analysis and just say add solution setup. In the solution setup there is nothing um, basically special that you want to take care of and um, all the <coughs> default values here are fine. Um, I can go through the default values here so you can 
uh, compare that with what you have in your uh, system okay so now I'm gonna go and press OK I'm gonna save the design and at this time we want to see if the design can pass the validation check so when I press on the validity check it will says that the design setting and the 3D model boundaries and excitation parameters mesh operation and analysis setup and optometrics in case we have which we don't have it in this case are all fine and there is no problem for that so that means in Ansoft language that if you select uh, run this simulation or analyzer it will give you a valid results on the contrary of some of other EM simulations that after passing all these validity checks and validations mesh would not work sometimes sometimes the result is too off and it's weird and sometimes you don't have the coverage in Ansoft uh, hopefully you don't have these problems and as soon as you save the analyst aisle you just wait for it and you get the results that you are looking for okay that uh, concludes our uh, boundary and excitations uh, <coughs> tutorial for this problem and also uh, we are going to interpret the analysis and the results and uh, talk about uh, uh, how we can use the calculator to calculate the currents that is going through the each coil hopefully we should get the same amount of 3750 after we calculate the current thanks for watching and let, let me know if you have any comments and you can subscribe to this channel and I'm trying to pre periodically add more um, videos to that so um, hopefully um, you can find the problems that you are looking for later on if you are not finding it now